What's going on random peeps? Louis B here with another video, a repair video, I guess we can go ahead and call it, because I gotta fix my truck. It was late out night, me and my buddies went riding, and I hit a cow. Cow's okay, but the truck's not. I gotta replace the headlight, I gotta replace the fender, I gotta replace the grill on the bumper, but right now, today, all I got is a new fender and new headlights. So we're gonna replace those. Alright, so, so first of all, we got the new fender right here. It is black, yes, I know. I had some spray paint that actually would match the fender. That actually matches the truck, I should say. But I lost that spray paint. And then the headlights, we got these ones here. I'm not too sure exactly the brand or the name. I just got them because I like that white strip at the bottom. And to work on the truck today, I actually went to the casino for Father's Day. And I won all these. I got this one's a home repair kit. It comes with like hammer pliers and screwdrivers stuff like that and then a set of wrenches that has metric and standard and then a little ratchet set and then this big old screwdriver set that has torx bits flathead bits uh allen or comes with allen wrenches yes but also comes with phillips uh bits as well so we're gonna see if we can replace all this just using those Well, we got the fender off. We got it completely off. Um, there's actually more to it than what I thought. So we got that screw out, kind of bent this up a little bit. I'm hoping that it'll seat back down flat once I put the screw in, but I think I might have bent that already. Might have to try to uh, fix that. Yeah, there was one bolt down there. I got that. We got the bolt off there. There was actually a couple eight millimeter, uh, eight millimeter um, screws or bolts that were holding on this plastic key fender thing so I got that off and then we got this off here it was held on by a weird looking nut but yeah there's that piece to it and there's the the piece that you see on the outside but uh this is actually what that nut or bolt or whatever you want to call it looks like it's pretty weird it's I guess um the guys in the body shops actually have a tool that like clamps on around that but I don't have that so what I did is I put the bubble wrap and I use a pair of pliers from the home repair kit and I use that. So yeah, there's the fender off. Here's the new, or here's the old one. Where it all got all bent up, beat up. And there's the new one. So now we're going to go ahead, we'll get that new one back on. Buddy, well we got the fender completed. It's all on and everything like that. It looks really good. I mean, my body line, I got a little tight here at the bottom. But I mean, the door still opens and closes just fine. So I'm not really too worried about that. I mean, it works. Got everything all buttoned up under here. I wanted to fix that up more, but I have to wait for the new bumper to come in for that. So that's gonna have to stay like that. But for the most part, fender looks good. Everything's all buttoned up. All we gotta do now is put on these new headlights. All right, you guys, well, I am almost done here. We're wiring the headlights in now. But what I did for preparation, I hope I had that on accidentally, is I went ahead and I split the wires here. Now there's three wires. I didn't know exactly which one was which. But uh, I know for sure this is the ground, but this one here is for whenever you have your park lamps on. So then you can have, because I want this white light here to be on whenever my park lamps are on. But I was thinking about using it for turn signal, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I'm going to keep the original other turn signal that's in there. But that's what this other wire is for. That's the hot for the turn signal, but this one is for the park lamp. So I stripped these two wires. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wire in the negative to the black wire and the positive, which I just dropped down in the crack, to the 
to the positive up here. And then once I get all that done, I just got to slap in the turn signal bulb, put in my new headlight bulb that I got for right here, uh, AutoZone, and then the light will be. All right, you guys. Well, it is all done. I got the. I was gonna put orange turn signals, but I actually got these white ones. They kind of blink orange, but I think it's just because the amber light that it gives off. And then that one is my old headlight bulb, but it still looks really good. Man, those headlights look nice. And as I said, those white lights at the bottom. I like that a lot. And then over on this side, that is actually a new headlight bulb. I actually had to buy a new one for this side because that one broke. But still with the white headlights and then the white stripe at the bottom. I like those a lot. I'm actually going to switch my turn signals. They had some blue ones at uh, O'Reilly's. So I'm going to get those, and then they also had some really cool like LED headlight bulbs that I'm actually going to switch in headlights. But I mean, for the fender, of course that's all jacked up still, but it's only because I still got to replace the grill and all that, and I still got to replace the bumper. But for the fender, it looks really good. The, the lines look alright. Still got to do the work down here too, but that's only because of the bumper and stuff. But I'll get that fixed up. But I mean, other than that... Just uh, once I can get that paint painted up, I mean, it don't look too, too bad. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the ending of that, what we did with the fender. I mean, the truck looks great. I'm liking the way it looks. I just can't wait till I can get this new grill and the new bumper. But uh, yeah, just, um, as soon as I get those, I'm going to make another video. Also, there's going to be some changes to this channel, so stay tuned for that. But that's all I got for right now. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you all later.